Hey guys, this is Andrew Olsentowski. This is the second segment of my betting tips video series. And the title of this video is Don't Play Volume. When you bet, don't play volume. I'm not a big believer in playing volume. Um, guys that have multiple plays per card, um, they're betting on props plus, plus straight picks, plus uh, over under, I mean... Guys, think about this. You're gonna see some of these guys, some of these, some of these, um, some of these touts, and some of these guys that want a, a public face and they want to sell you, they want to sell you all this shit, or they want to just, you know, give you all their plays, and then on top of that, they're doing degenerate shit like playing other sports, betting other sports. They're not focused on mixed martial arts, man. And when guys, when you see guys that are just focused on all these other sports, I mean, uh, how much money do they really have? How much money are they really laying down? They're not laying shit down. You know what I'm saying? And guys that are betting the props, how much money are they getting down on these props? How much money do they have to be betting 10 plays plus per card or multiple plays or these extravagant exotic plays. They don't have no money, man. They're not they don't have any significant money that they're actually they're risking or or whatnot. Laying a hundred dollars on something isn't isn't shit. You know what I'm saying? But going back to don't play volume, you're gonna see huge upticks in hey, you might see guys come out with a winning event plus eight units, plus five units. Uh, but yeah, the next the next event or so, they're gonna be down five units on that event, ten units, you know, because all their plays and all their props didn't come through and shit. It's just like the more volume you have, the more you're risking, and it's just it's not a good look, man. It's just like what what are, what are you really doing? You're you're trying to dive, you're trying to dissect the card so much, and it's just it's not it's not worth it, man. Like I said, the guys that are playing volume. They're not backing those volume plays up with any type of money, man. Because in my in my honest opinion, playing too much volume is is crazy. It's, it's crazy. You're taking a tremendous amount of risk. Plus, I don't believe you have the capital to back up all those plays. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's it's cool. You got you know 10, 15, 20 plays a card, but I mean, <laughs> or or betting every fight like it's just. Guys, that's not long term sustainable. It's not it's not realistic. It's not any of that. And I just want to make you this video just telling you, man, don't play volume, man. At the most I'll have two plays per card. You know, I haven't had a bet. I haven't had a model play since uh July thirty first. You know. Since July thirty first. And I'm not ashamed to say that. I don't hey, my model is an ultra conservative model and I'm proud of it, man. Like I said, we can dive into the advanced version of my model. And that's the advanced version year by year. ADV move down. Let me look at that center column. It's beautiful, man. But like I said, guys, just be aware of volume. Don't play volume. I have one, two bets on, uh, two bets at the most on any, on any given night. But uh, like I said, I haven't had a model play since July 31st, and I'm fine with that, man. You know, um, the next the next opportunity my model has, I will be betting it. But until then, I don't I don't reach out for plays. I don't I don't chase plays. I don't do any of that, man. I'd rather leave a little bit of money on the table if it involves me not taking a risk on a real low level fight. So this is my video, guys. Be aware of those that play volume. Don't play volume plays. Don't bet a lot of fights. Like I said, bet one or two fights per card if you're if you're gonna go down that that avenue. Um, and I like I said, I only like I said at the most I'll have two plays, two model plays on any given card. But you know, normally it's one. 